Hello my dear friends, how is it going? I'm Ari Theriger and here's a short video to keep you company while I'm away. So I'm not actually here. Only the gods know where I am. Well, did in fact the berserker, the berserkers consume the mushrooms to enter an altered state of consciousness that induced such rage and a state of frenzy that made them fearless warriors in battle with an uncontrollable wild behavior? Well, not likely. This image of such warriors consuming mushrooms to go absolutely mad and lose all sense of fear and fight naked with their bare hands and biting shields is indeed quite the common idea in relation to the Berserkir to the point that it has become indisputable. Actually, um, if you haven't watched a previous video I've done on the Berserkir and the Hulfednar, bear shirts and wolf coats respectively, uh, well, I suggest that you do, because in that video I delve deeper into these subjects, including the consumption of psychotropic substances, including mushrooms, and uh, by the end of that video you will have the bibliography so you can check for yourself the sources. Although, researching deeper into this subject of specifically consumption of mushrooms, Indeed, this seems to be something not based on actual evidences, but, let's say, a rather fanciful idea. <laughs> so, after all that was shared and said and done on that particular video, did the Berserker consume hallucinogenic mushrooms or other substances to enter a um, stage of rage? This is actually one of the most common representations about the Viking Age, at least in relation to the Berserker warriors. This image appears in various books, films, literature of all sorts, and cinema, you name it. The truth is that there is no evidence to support this idea. I know, or I think I know, how that makes many of you feel, because it is such a deeply rooted idea that the very fact that there are no evidences, absolutely no evidences for this, already destroys so many stories and perspectives of what we thought to be historical and some modern attempts to reconstruct the hidden past. We have no information in history, literature or archaeology to support this. Military historians specialized in the Viking Age carried out experiments to verify this supposed practice of the consumption of hallucinogenic mushrooms and the users and consumers that were submitted to these tests had several side effects such as diarrhea and vomiting quite a lot and as you might imagine, such conditions are obviously unsuitable for any warlike situation. Such substances do not allow any human being to be able to fight properly or even fight in any, in any way, making the warrior an easy target. But if, if it's not true then, where did this stereotype originate? And that's the thing. It was created in 1784, late 18th century, with the uh, theolo uh, theologian Samuel Udemann, a professor at the University of Uppsala, Sweden. He met a prisoner of war from Siberia who told him about the native populations of Russia who supposedly attained an hallucinated state by the use of mushrooms. And according to him, to this prisoner of, of war, uh, when Russian soldiers ran out of vodka, they used mushrooms and became very violent. Samuel Udeman uh, then had the idea of explaining the Berserker rage, the Berserker Gangr, by the use of mushrooms, uh, but not, not having, not not having any any kind of concrete substances for uh, evidences for this, <laughs> or any substantial evidence. Even so, several later scholars used his hypothesis, which became even more popular and widespread after the 1960s, the 20th century, right, when widespread use of hallucinogens in the West became commonplace. And I think this is at least proof of how something popular today can influence the history of the past and generate a reality that never existed, but is believed to be true, even so. And as a patron of mine uh, reminded me, which I think it is important, uh, this idea of the consumption of mushrooms by ancient warriors and ancient societies to enter uh, an altered state of consciousness and uh, consciousness, <laughs> sorry, and fight savagely and wild, also spread into other cultures, picking up Samuel Udeman's um, hypothesis for other warriors of other cultures, including the historical reality of my own country, which I have read quite a lot, cultures such as those of the Celtiberians, the Celts and Lusitanians, going high on mushrooms before a fight. It's quite the strong romanticism from a Eurocentric perspective. 
and since drugs were quite popular in the second half of the 20th century, historians were more than happy to bring these themes into the scene by all means necessary. And well, that's it. <laughs> Sorry for the disappointment, broken hearts and probably a few existential crises. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video. And as always, tá por aí, Thanks for today. Obrigado por hoje. Until we meet again, my dear friends.